People don't really celebrate Jesse Lee Pat, uh, Peterson. Uh, he is a pastor of nothing, okay? He doesn't have a thriving congregation. He gets his money by bashing black people, similar to Candace Owens. So white bigots who are unable to say what he says about black people will continue to pay Jesse Lee Peterson to say things against black and brown people, against members of the LGBTQ community. And he literally takes a position antithetical to these communities because he gets paid to do so. Once again, the definition of sellout. But don't you find it amazing that there are so many bigoted individuals in this country that they will literally make a man, um, make a person rich or try to just so that that person can keep talking trash about other communities. And that's all that brother is, that's it. I did think he could engage in a conversation. I didn't know he was that far gone. Um, all right, so what had happened was, um, first of all, this is Dr. Rashad. Clearly, Dr. Rashad, he, ho he hosts a, a show called The Bullpen. And, um, and he is about to have a conversation with um, Jesse Lee Peterson. Jesse Lee Peterson is going to do his Jesse Lee Peterson thing. He's going to piss him off. And you're about to see what happens, right? I mean, he's literally going to get kicked off the show because he's going to piss him off. And we're about to check this out together. I haven't seen that part yet, um, but I wanted to see some. I wanted to go to the just to the part after, like like at the end, just to see what he was really feeling because um, it has a portion where he was talking to his people and he was answering comments after the converse, the conversation. I said, you know what? Let me check this out. And when I heard the part that you just now heard. I need to make sure that y'all heard that. I need to make sure y'all heard that because this is what leaders, this is what leaders of the black community actually feel. They actually feel like Jesse Lee Peterson is a plant. They feel like um, Candace Owens is a plant. They feel like they're both plants for hate. They feel like anybody else who's black that um, attach themselves to their ideologies, beliefs, or even start to understand where they come from understand their point of view understand their perspective i'm talking about jesse lee peterson and candace owens that they are sellouts you just now heard how he described it this is the whole sellouts uncle tom um, one of his one of his people called him uncle ruckus um bootlickers those type of things so i want y'all to hear that basically what they feel like is Anything that, any type of information that you present that's not in support, that seems to them to not be in support of them, not, not, not um, against the policies that they follow, but them, you know what I mean? Then that's what you are. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all what happens to, when you see reactors, when you see other channels, um, like the, the conservative perspective, Officer Tatum, um, Doc Rich, King, Kingdom Reacts, um, Half and Jay, um, myself. When you see us react to these types of, of, of videos that are conservative videos, and you see us showing some, some bit of understanding and we start to really, okay, I understand. Oh, I, okay, I done looked it up for myself, did my due diligence, and guess what? What I learned from Candace Owen, what I learned from Jesse um, Lee Peterson, what I learned from Ben Shapiro is actually true. Wow. And then we start to do more and more videos about it. Then we are now placed in the same box as what black leadership consider um, sellouts. And before I move forward, I want to say thank you so much to everyone who have purchased hats. And anyone else who want to purchase one, make sure you go to the link below, hatsforsale.com. Put in LFR10 for 10% off and you'll get free shipping all over America, okay? Thank you so much, all right? Let's go ahead and check this out, man. And <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. In the bullpen today, I have conservative radio talk 
personality, TV host, extreme conservative, and he's proud of it. Extreme. Pastor Jesse Lee Peterson, founder and president of Bond, B-O-N-D, and host of JLP Show and The Fallen State. Um, Pastor Peterson, good day, welcome to Indisputable. Thank you for having me on, I appreciate it. Sir, you all have a celebration coming up next month. Um, are you not the founder of um, White History Month, I think, which starts in July? Yeah, we're gonna be celebrated. Hold on, what? <laughs> What? <laughs> He's the founder. You're the founder of White History Month. He did not say that. Did he say you're the founder of White History Month, Jesse? Jesse is such a damn troll. <laughs> oh Coming up God. next month. Um, are you not the founder oh, of um, White History <laughs> Month? I think which starts in July. Yeah, we're going to be celebrating our fourth year of White History Month. Mm -hmm. in July, and the, and the reason that we started it in July is because if you notice, July just feels white. Yeah. You know, it was... <laughs> Bruh, Jesse, bro, you ain't got no cut cards, man, I swear. <laughs> Wow, that's the funniest thing I've heard all month, all month of, of August, man. My God, man, <laughs> in July, it feels white. Yeah, he's trolling, he's definitely trolling, man. I swear to goodness, he know when he got you on the hook. July man. is because if you notice, July just feels white. Yeah. You know, it's, it's summertime, vacation time, relaxing uh -huh. time, reflecting time, and appreciating the yeah. greatest country on this side of heaven. Gotcha. And uh, so we are recognizing that and showing our appreciation for it. I think it's important for people to know um, you're not a comedian. Uh, what you're <laughs> saying, right, what you're saying, this is actually you. You do this. Um, you did, you did found, you're the founder of White History Month. Yes. <laughs> uh, you've also been very critical of Juneteenth. You have called it a fake holiday, uh, but you are, um, you want to make sure that everyone supports White History Month. Absolutely. I do want to have a policy discussion with you about <laughs> the George Floyd Policing and Accountability Act. I'm sorry, guys, that is hilarious. I don't know why that's so damn funny. A black dude started white history month that right there is is a bit that's ready to be written i know that jesse lee peterson has his reasons but that's damn hilarious it's absolutely hilarious if you don't find that hilarious then please somebody break it down to me what happened with this because i this <laughs> i'm going to attempt to have that policy discussion with you uh do you agree or disagree with the george floyd policing and accountability act I totally disagree because as we all know, George Floyd was a, a black unemployed drug addict uh, with a criminal record. Mm -hmm. And I just- Okay, see uh, let, let's, let's first of all, let's clear something up, sir. And also I would like to say every, that's, that's a lot of people were so um, blown away by that whole situation and they know a great deal about George Floyd and and all those things, I didn't even look into it, man. I didn't even look into him. I don't even know his background. I don't. I didn't care to know his background, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, I prayed for the dude, you know, um, and and everything. But again, that's the that's the one reason why I stayed away from the news, man, because things get crazy. Things get crazy, and I don't. Mm mm. Mm mm. That's why I'm here at 44 years old and y'all are seeing me go through this live and I'm starting to hear a whole lot of things and I'm like, oh crap, here we go, here we go, here we go. But there's a wake up call for me. Um, you really should be ashamed of yourself. You call yourself a Christian pastor. George Floyd is dead. It's his fault. He's he's dead because a cop killed him. No, now my he's question, dead because he was a drug addict. My question to you 
my question to you, and that's ad, that's adverse to the evidence, by the way, what you just said. My question to you was about policy. So let me ask you, what in the policy of the George Floyd Policing Act do you disagree with? The whole idea, what Which really needs- part of the policy, Jesse? Blaming the cops and no responsibility Jesse, for the blacks. I'm asking you, what part of the policy is written? You can find it at congress.gov. What part of the policy, sir, do you disagree with? This is a simple question. I disagree with the whole idea of a you policy. You haven't read the policy. I, you haven't even read the damn policy. Come I on, don't Jesse. need to read it. I don't need to read you it don't to need know to the read truth it. because what I've noticed is that black people today, due to their lack of love, their lack of believing in God, they <laughs> he's going at him. He's really trolling them, man. And also, I want to know about this policy he's talking about. What's this policy he's talking about, guys? Is is what is this policy he's talking about? Please let me know. I need to know that. Um, because he didn't he didn't say exactly, God dang it, I need to get my mustache cut. This is starting to look real crazy, real woolly. I don't like this, woolly mammon. Um, yeah, I need to know a lot about I need to know a little bit about this so I can understand what it is and why Jesse Lee Peterson has chosen not to even give it any time. They love evil more than they love good, so right? So that's the reason and why so, you don't read. And so the that's fact, the reason why you don't read. Right, because it was written by no good black people. And why should I waste my time knowing what they're about? Black folks today, and not all, not all, not all, but most have no sense of direction. They are blaming mm. everybody but themselves. And until they take responsibility for their own lives, uh, they are not going to get better. The now, real truth blame, is, let me ask George you, Floyd is dead do because of George Floyd that, and no one a, else. That's a ridiculous point. But no, I, I really got to look into this. I, mean, I saw Candace Owens did a video on this, and I also saw another a couple of other stories on it, and I decided not to click. I, I don't know why. I, certain things like that, I just don't like to go through again, if that makes sense. I, I don't, so many people have, I think people have died from that. Like people have died behind that at protests and all these other things. And yeah, it gets a little heavy. It gets a little thick. So yeah, I, I need to definitely check that joint out. Man. George sir, Floyd is dead because of George Floyd that, and no just, one else. That's a ridiculous point. But do you blame yourself for not reading the policy or you blame somebody else? Why should I read the policy when I already know the people? They're you don't even know what's in the policy, do you? In, I don't need to know, don't want to know. I know the people who are writing it, they're no good. <laughs> okay. He said, I don't need to know, don't want to know, and I already know the people who wrote it and they're no good. So who wrote it? Who wrote it? Who wrote it? It must have been some some organization that that he does not agree with. And he's like, okay, listen, listen, it's complete BS. All right, I need to I need to see this policy, bro. Uh, let's talk about Black Lives Matter. Uh, th this is probably going to end up being an utter waste of my time having you on the show. Uh, do you? Oh, what, what are your thoughts about? You Black don't know Lives that. Matter? You may learn something. Well, we'll, we'll see. Uh <laughs> He said, this might be a waste of my time. He pointed at him. He said, you don't know that. You might learn something. <laughs> Listen, bro, Dr. Rashad, man, you don't know. I think that's his name, Dr. Rashad. You don't know, man, but you are being trolled, sir. You are being trolled. And, but at the end of the day, he does believe those things that, that he's saying. Um, and the fact that he can keep a straight face the entire time, it is literally, is blowing my mind, man. How do you do it, Jesse Lee Peterson? Like this, it's like every single thing he's saying is to completely piss this dude off. Completely. A uh, preacher. Uh, what is, what's about? What is it about Black Lives Matter uh, that you disagree with fundamentally? Black Lives Matter was founded by a bunch of fat black radical lesbians. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Oh. Really, man? And he pronounced each word with, with power, a bunch of fat, black, radical lesbians. <laughs> Uh, 
right, okay, I'm starting to see why he got he got kicked off the show, man. Because this is hilarious. This is hilarious. I'm sorry. This is hilarious. If this was my show, if this was my show and I was on that side right there, you know what I mean? I would definitely I would have kicked them off too. It's like I don't know how long this is gonna last, but guess what? I can feel it coming. I can the same way that don't you know how um when Jesse Lee Peterson has uh has has um um these conversations with different people inside of the studio and then he get them so pissed off that they end up getting up and leaving <laughs> that has happened probably like four times that i've seen so far and i know there's many more why do they keep on coming on his show when they know he is going to piss them off now to Dr. Rashad, why would you invite him to your show if you know he is going to piss you off? I don't get it. But hey, we are here. So let's go. Man. This is I'm sorry for I'm sorry for walking out of the camera, guys. That was unprofessional. That was unprofessional. <laughs> Probably going to end up being an utter waste of my time having you on the you show. Don't know that. Uh, you do you what are your thoughts about you Black don't know Lives that Matter. you may learn something? I didn't even know he said amazing. Did you hear him say amazing? If he said amazing, you don't know that. You might learn something. Oh, yeah, he's in his bag when he say amazing. You already know that. Well, we'll, we'll see, uh, Preacher. Uh, what, is, what's about, what is it about Black Lives Matter uh, that you disagree with fundamentally? Black Lives Matter was founded by a bunch of fat, black <laughs> radical lesbians okay and who All hate right, god get this clown off my show i appreciate who you hate thank god you. who hate thank the nuclear you, family yeah listen for those of you who wanted me to continue to engage <laughs> that clown on this show i'm sorry i just couldn't do it i'm only a human being so please forgive me okay <laughs> all right um here's what we'll do for the rest of the show um i will read some comments and, and I know some of you will say, oh, Rashad, that was just so rude. And, and yeah, it was, I, I couldn't take any more of that foolishness. He's not going to make a debate in good faith. Even <laughs> if, even if you oppose whatever I believe on the most extreme policy side, at least you have a policy argument I can engage in a good faith debate about ideas. But if you wanna utilize this platform to bash gay people, to bash black people, to bash uh, communities that are disenfranchised. If that's all you want to do, then no, you won't do that here. Uh, and I'm sure all of his cronies, once he puts this on his social media feed, they will try to come after me. I want all the smoke. I'm good with every bit of it, all right? My man said, I want all the smoke. I'm good with every bit. Of Listen, bro, um, honestly, I want to say this, bro. Um, you got freaking you got trolled to the maximum you got trolled to the maximum and you've making a you've made a decision to be on the side that you're on okay um policies policies be damned you have decided that you're going to eat up every single thing from the left now you say that you're in the middle i heard you say that but that's not the case that's not the case when you allow somebody to piss you off that much, to piss you off that much, and you try to hold him to an account, but he can't hold anyone else to an account, that right there is hypocrisy. That's hypocrisy. He's holding people to account. Now, does he say, does he have to say all? Does he have to specify? Does he have to say the people who are who are presenting themselves as this, that, and the third, these adjectives that I'm describing them as, does he have to specifically say those, does he have to say names? Does he have to say names? See, this is the thing. You missed a whole lot. You 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 missed a whole lot. Well, you had a you had a great opportunity actually before kicking them off the show. That was honestly some sucker stuff to do. I would not be disrespected on my show. See that right there is you showing power. You're trying to show that you're you're in charge. Like I'm the man here, and I want all the smoke. Okay, so when you start talking like I want all the smoke, guess what that does? That does nothing but echo what's happening in our communities that's getting people killed day after day after day after day after day i want all the smoke you know where that comes from right do you know what the smoke is now i know you're not talking about bullets or anything like that but you understand where that saying comes from jesse lee peterson won't say that to you but 
I'm very much well versed in that. Now, I will tell you this. You're doing nothing but representing one side. And since you're representing one side, you have on blinders and you don't see anything but what represents that one side. And that one side is black people, the LGBTQ community, and the community that you named after that, the disenfranchised community. So black people, those three communities you named. And then you tried to hold him up to a, to a different standard because he's a Christian. Because he's a Christian, he can't say anything negative about somebody who passed away. Right? Whereas a bunch of times when I see something happen to somebody, and, it, and this is on both sides, bro. If y'all don't like the person who died, y'all talk y'all sugar honey iced tea with no problem. Or oh, he probably deserved it. That's about time when it was something happened to you, something happened to one of them. So that negativity is not going to lead to anything. When he came on your show, you had an agenda. All right? And clearly, you followed that agenda. And at the, at the end, when I watched the comments at the end of your video... And somebody says something about Jesse Lee Peterson got caught watching gay porn or something like that. You said, man, I should have started my interview off with that because your whole point was to embarrass him on your show. That was your whole point. Your whole point was not to have a dialogue. Your whole point was to win a debate, period. And you was ready to go dirty too. Matter of fact, you said it in your daggone video. That this is what I should have started off with, laughing, laughing, laughing. How was that? How was that something that you should have started your video off with? Now, if you're going to re represent yourself as an upstanding black man who represents the black community, bruh, that's not how you do it. Now, if you got something to say to him about the way that he represents himself and all this stuff, man, go ahead, do your thing. Speak directly, speak clear to him. Speak clear to him. But if you want to talk about policies, then talk about all policies. Don't just talk about the policy that, that was written to support the one thing that you asked them about, the one thing that you decided to do research about. Anything that has to do with victimization, I'm doing research and I'm making sure that we can back this up on paper because I'm going to go ahead and debate a bunch of people that don't believe in victimization. Because disenfranchised is disenfranchised. You're not helping anybody out like that. As a matter of fact, you're hurting way more people. You can tell by saying, I don't care. You're, you're going to sit on your cronies. I want all the smoke. I want all the smoke. Come on now. You're just, you're, you're just as negative as you're trying to paint them out to be. Just because you're not direct, just be try, because you're trying to hide it in the fresh shape up in, in the suit, and you're trying to look professional and sound. Listen, bro. I don't care how much education you got. The fact is you chose a side and you was trying to play him and you the one that got played, bro. You did. And you think you won that, but it didn't, you didn't look good in this, bro. You didn't look in your comments. This, this is your comment section. Read your comments on your video. It's not looking good for you, man. Probably look good in your daggone live feed on your on your Twitch um, feed while you were live. But after that, nah. So I think y'all should have this conversation again. I, I think it would be an amazing conversation. I don't know if you're beta or not. I heard him yell beta. But I don't, I don't even know what that means. People be yelling those daggone type of things out. And I don't know what that beta alpha stuff mean. I just know what it means just to be a man. That's it. But hey. Based off of his uh, definition, I guess he think you're that. All right. But I want to hear what y'all got to say about this in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, listen, I use two microphones. This is my outro microphone. All right. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Love y'all.